Peggy 18. To officially kick off the campaign for Metro Last Light, THQ, in partnership with creative agency Itchy, created an epic live-action short film to tell the story of those present at the end of the world and the beginning of the world of Metro. Ready? What drew me into the project was the sheer epic scale and sort of scope of the story. Reading the basic script that I was given, there was so much potential for character development and the idea of depicting this event that is the end of mankind is, is something that was very alluring. When we were looking for a director to pick up this piece, we were really after someone that understood the necessity to create this bleak vision of a near future and something that Jim's treatment really brought to life was a, another level to our storytelling, and he just got it completely. Obviously a big part of getting the right director on board was also finding a great director of photography, and Jim recommended Mark Patton, who was just coming off Prometheus, so he was absolutely the right choice for us. From experience of working in Kiev before, I knew that we could cheat Moscow and make that work for us. It just has this fantastic look about it, which really epitomizes this bleak vision that we were hoping to achieve. Kiev was pretty much the ideal location apart from the weather. Extreme cold meant that we couldn't stand still. We had very little time to think. And on top of that, we had to throw in 100 extras, car stunts, rampaging through the streets. But through planning, um, we actually got away with a lot in the time we had. We also invited a lot of people from 4A to help add to the, the weight of bodies. And in actual fact, I think we cleared out most of the office. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. The third day was the hardest shoot. We shot for 22 hours without stopping, which was pretty incredible. We had to shoot in three locations, including being on the Metro Underground system at four o'clock in the morning. The Ranger's costume is based on Artyom's character. I really enjoyed developing that because that's toys for boys. You get to sort of build guns and knives and create uniforms. It was a real process of exploration to design and make his weaponry and his outfit as close as we could to the character in the game. Take your time. One happy accident we had while shooting was the fact that the Metro Commander happened to have a child who was the exact age we were looking for um, for the baby. So in the film, the baby that is passed to him is actually his own son. Towards the end of the film, we needed to tie in the idea that perhaps this ranger was also the baby. And we felt that one really vital cue would be to use the lullaby. We had a lot of actresses into a casting session and got them to act out the scene with the baby. And one particular mother started to sing the child a lullaby. And it was so moving and emotive that we knew immediately that that was the woman and we were going to use that in the film. The mother's lullaby was one of those things that no matter how much you prepare, how much you plan, some things just come along and they absolutely click and make perfect sense. We wanted to make a very intelligent film. It's nice to come to your own conclusions and to make your own assumptions on what might be happening. <laughs> it became apparent very quickly that we had so much great material and so many different converging storylines that we realized in order to stay true to our initial vision and create the epic trailer we always intended, that we allow these stories to be told. I think we did that very well.